Hi guys, Rashid here from rnbsinglessons.com. Okay, I'm gonna go through the Dimash songs that have runs in them, and I'm gonna mark out the loops so that I can make, so that I can have make up, uh, so I can make, so that I can practice with them and learn all those new things and uh, improve my my skill set. And uh, yeah, enjoy singing along and learning from a master like Dimash. All right, here we go. So I use Amazing Slowdowner. I've already downloaded the song. Uh, I downloaded the song using this website, just so you can see it, uh, onlinevideoconverter.com. You just get the link from YouTube and you paste it in here, and then you download. Okay, that's how I downloaded it. I got a Samsung phone, so once it's in my phone, I've already made the lists here. I've got like a reactions list in Amazing Slowdowner. This is called this application, this app. And I've got the Dimash ones here, so let's go to the Dimash Hello. There it is. So it's loaded up here. This is just a video so you guys can see me while I'm talking. All right, so what I do now is I just I listen through the song and then I might make loops of those parts so that I can practice with them. Because making loops is the, uh, is a good way to practice something because it automatically repeats it for you and you can modify the speed to match your level and you can modify the pitch to match your level, which I'll need to do while I'm learning. Here we go. Uh, I'm probably not going to listen through the whole thing because I know that it starts kind of a while in, so I'll probably just skip through there. Now, just a note, when I play it, it's going to come out quite loud from the speaker, so I'm not going to talk while I'm doing it. I'm just going to mark it out, so this is more so you can see how I do it. So there's the loop, now it's created. Let's just have a look how this program works, I'll just show you. What I'll do is I'll just save it. Okay. Add. I won't name it, you can, but you can name it, but I won't name it now. Uh, next one. <laughs> Shivers. All right, next one. Hello. Hello. Hear that Mongolian in the background? It's really low. the four loops so I just click the loops there
So I've got my four loops set up. So when I want to practice, all I do is go in them and then I do my training. Okay, uh, next uh, I want to do the all by myself as well. Screaming. Uh, there was the. Um, where is it? I thought I downloaded it. Oh, I haven't downloaded it yet. I plan to buy that one anyway. It's probably. I'm guessing it's on Google Play. That's where I usually buy stuff from. So I'll grab that one and I'll add that one into as well. And yeah, there you go. You got to see how I create my loops. So now um, that will take a lot of pra a lot of practice sessions. I I guess because they're very new, without the range, without doing the high notes, just with doing, just getting the notes right in a lower octave and at the similar speed, I think will take me approximately 30 to 50 sessions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to number my practices like number one, 
for every time I do a Dimash practice with these kinds of runs, like the Arabic kind of runs and stuff, because it's kind of it's far out of my ability, and um, possibly the range you might get there too. Oh, and <laughs> maybe not the whistly stuff, but uh, maybe some of the high notes, like around up to up to a up to an E maybe max. But we'll see. You never know. Practice. You never know what happens when you practice. Sometimes you get better than you think you would. So we'll see what happens. That'll be exciting. But yeah, I'm definitely going to spend some long-term time on this. So uh, if you're interested in watching me practice and that kind of stuff, uh, I'll be posting those videos. And for those of you interested in about how someone can learn to sing and how you learn to sing like these kind of things, how an advanced singer like me still has to learn and practice the kinds of things I would do, watch those videos and um, should be exciting. I've already got a lot of those videos. I looked yesterday and I've got 240 practice videos. That's a lot. It's in my um, practice playlist. It's been for, it's been nine months. Pretty much every practice I've done over the last nine months, I put it up online. Pretty much except for like those times when I'm maybe in the shower or uh, I might be walking and sing for a couple of minutes or I might be sing for, for a few minutes while I'm waiting for someone or something like that. But most of my practices are online. And because uh, I challenged myself, I wanted to put a one year of practices just to kind of show myself just for, you know, accountability and my practicing and as well as kind of show people, look, you know, you got to you got to practice to improve. You got to practice to maintain your skill. It doesn't just happen by itself. Even naturals practice very hard. I'm not natural, but whatever level you are, you have to work to get better. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.